Five clubs. This is a hard trick. Let's get started. Well, as you already recognize, the pattern that I'm using is called the Five Club Cascade. I'm using the Cascade pattern, the basic trick of juggling. And as you also saw, every club made a double spin. So most jugglers, when they start learning to juggle five clubs, they start by using double spins in the Cascade pattern. So there's a couple tricks that you can work your way up with to master this trick as quickly as possible. Of course, you want to be able to juggle five balls prior to even attempting to juggle five clubs. So if you cannot juggle five balls yet, watch the other tutorial on how to juggle five balls. Master the five ball juggling, master how to juggle three clubs on double spins, uh, different rhythms, different heights, so you're super comfortable juggling three clubs. Have a good basic with four clubs, just that you are aware of how it feels to have more than three clubs in the air and also juggling on double spins. Once you can do all these tricks, then come back and resume watching this video because now we're gonna get into it, five clubs. The first drill that we're gonna start with for five club juggling is resuming the practice with the double spins. Just, you wanna be so certain with your double spins. So you're gonna juggle double spins by holding the club until the very last minute in your hand. So you see there's just one club in the air at pretty much any time. This is what it's called to have a long holding time because you hold the clubs in your hand for a very long time. You wanna be able to do that with three clubs and double spins, but also you wanna be able to do a shortest holding time as possible. And it looks like this. So I'm basically thinking about the clubs like hot potatoes and I just wanna keep them in, the, in my hand as short as possible. So if you hold them in your hand as short as possible, that's about the time you will have every club in your hands when you juggle the five clubs. So those are two exercises that you want to get super solid. So if you have, don't have them solid yet, stop this video again, go and practice, and then come back and resume watching this video. All right, you have practiced. And now I'm going to show you the next step, which is also an exercise with three clubs. Um, it looks like this. That's called the three club snail. Now next up is I need to show you how to hold the three clubs in one hand because when you start the three club snail, you need to know how to start three clubs out of one hand. You also need to know that when you start the five clubs. So you're gonna start by holding one club just like this. Then you're gonna place another club on top. So as you see, one club has been held with my thumb. The other one goes on the top. So it's been held with my pointer finger and my thumb is holding this one. The other fingers are holding the next club. Okay, for th the third one, you're gonna place it on top. So you have one club here, one club there, and one club here, so it looks like this. So the, the club with the yellow handle, that's the one I will throw first. Then I'll throw the second one, and I throw the third one. So this is the, the proper way. Most jugglers don't use it this way but they kind of bundle them together. So it's basically more compact version. So this one slides over, comes on the top, but it's still the first one to throw. So it's more like a, a quicker and dirtier version of this one. It's more bundled, but it works very, very well. So that's what most jugglers use. So one, two, three. So you want to practice releasing the club. So you go one, two, three, catch. One, two, three, catch. In the beginning, it's kind of weird to hold as many clubs in one hand. So this exercise, this exercise gets you used to that. All right, now you can do the three club snail. You know the different holding times and you know how to catch and release three clubs with one hand. It's time to add one more club. I really love this exercise. It's one of the exercises too that you probably recognize from my five ball tutorial. I'm just gonna cross the clubs. I go one, two, three, four, catch, catch, catch. For me, that gives me a very good feel 
how the five clubs look like and the speed of it. Well, it's not the same difficulty as actually doing it with five clubs. So practice crossing the clubs for a bunch of time so you get used to it before getting the fifth club and then you can get started with the five club cascade. All right, we're almost there. Five clubs. So your dominant hand for odd numbers, that's for me my left hand, but most of you are right-handed. So you're gonna take three clubs in your right hand. I'm gonna start with three clubs in my left hand because it feels most comfortable for me. Um, you're gonna hold the clubs like I explained it with the three club snail. I go, go for the quick and dirty version. So hold the clubs like that. The hand that has the most clubs, that's the hand you're gonna start with. And now just like the five balls, you're gonna start with a flash. So you're gonna go for five clubs for one cycle. So here's one cycle of the pattern. One, two, three, four, five, catch, catch, catch. You go one, two, three, four, five, catch, catch, catch. So with three clubs, it was very important that you catch the clubs like this, you bring them in and they go under an angle. For five clubs, that's still valid, it's still the same. Just the angle is a little bit less. So it's, you catch it in this position, you rotate it inward and you're gonna throw it in that position. So it comes back in your hand in that position as well. So let's show it. And that's a juggling of five clubs. I would suggest starting with one cycle first, you're gonna go for five throws, five catches, then you build it up. So maybe seven throws, seven catches, 10 throws, 10 catches, so two cycles, or a qualify, how some jugglers call it. And if you have that one, move on to 30 throws. Once you have the 30 down, your landmark 100 throws and catches, the century mark is not that far ahead. So keep on practicing, try to improve the runs, the duration, and uh, within no time, you'll be a five club juggler, and I congratulate you too, because that's a milestone, that's very, very difficult, and it separates the boys from the man. Five club juggling. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more, hit the subscribe button and more videos will be coming your way soon.